Air pollution consists of chemicals or particles in the air that can harm the health of humans, animals, and plants. It also damages buildings. Pollutants in the air take many forms. They can be gases, solid particles, or liquid droplets, according to the National Geographic. What are the sources of air pollution? From industry and energy supply, from dust, from transport, from agricultural practices, from waste managers, management, and household energy. All kinds of transportation contributes to smog and air pollution. From cars, to freighters, to motorcycles, all of these play a role in air pollution. Smog looks like a dark fog and makes it difficult to see in a big city. Factories burn off fumes and smoke that pollute the air. Airplanes, like cars, can produce air pollution too. Waste management causes air pollution because people tend to leave more garbage and it piles up. It causes odors and is not healthy for us to breathe. Fertilizers and pesticides people use on the crops can cause air pollution too. Here are some sources of indoor pollutants. In the bathroom there's mold, mildew, odors, and other microbial pathogens. In the air conditioning units, it circulates without ventilating rooms. In the living room, it's the animal hair, dust, and dander, tobacco smoke, diesel particles, um, from paint, varnishes, upholstery, furniture, and carpet. From the bedroom, it's the perfumes, hairspray, nail polish, upholstery, furniture, and carpet dust mites and bed sheets. From the laundry room, it's from cleaning products, mold, mildew, odors, and other bi microbial pathogens. And in the kitchen, it's the cooking devices and fuel and oil. Dust storms carry dust in the wind over the land, and it can cause severe air pollution. It also makes it hard for people to breathe and see. So to reduce air pollution, we can take public transportation, we can turn off lights, we can recycle so there is not that much waste. We can just be mindful of what we do so we can take care of the planet we live on. We're gonna talk about air pollution. Air pollution is something that exists, but you don't see it because it's fine particles in the air. And um, the bad thing about air pollution is that we breathe it and it uh, affects our lungs. And not only is it just, you know, unhandy that it makes you cough or it makes your nose run, but it can be very dangerous if it uh, gets really bad and, and it's not taken care of. So I'm going to uh, show you an experiment of a way that you can test the air conditions around your home. So what I have here is a regular old paper plate. I have a piece of string. And you can use a um, hole puncher, but I couldn't find one, so I'm just going to use this pen. And then you need a, a tub of Vaseline. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a couple of holes into my paper plate. And then I'm just going to tie my string on. You can use, I just use yarn, you can use fishing line, or you can use any kind of thread or anything at all. I have even seen where some people tie, put on um, paper clips and hung their plate on a fence. I'm gonna hang mine on a pole, so I just figured that this would work just as well. So I've got my plate and it's on a string and I'm gonna use the, the side, uh, this would be the concave side. Okay, and then I'm going to take my uh, Vaseline, and I'm just going to take the Vaseline, I'm going to take a goodly amount of it, and I'm just going to spread it all over the plate, in the middle and on the sides. Just put it all over. And I can use lots of goopy, goopy, goopy um, Vaseline. You can get this Vaseline at the Walmart or at the CVS. You may even have some at your inside your house already. A lot of folks keep this for um, you know winter time when your lips get chafed or your hands or something like that. And I'm just going to put on lots and lots and lots 
of Vaseline and smear it all over. And that's basically it. So I'm going to take this plate and I'm going to hang it outside and we will check to see what this plate looks like in a day or so. This was our experiment that we did to test air pollution. And this is my plate that I hung up that had the Vaseline on it to see if it could catch things in the air. You'll see right there in the middle, there's a big black spot. There are some little black spots down here that you may not be able to see as well. There are some over here that uh, are, there's one right there that's a little difficult to see because it's such a bright sunny day. But this is um, an experiment that I strongly encourage you to do. It doesn't cost very much and it's very easy to do. And you can test the air quality where you live because it does change daily. And those people who have some type of respiratory problem like asthma or emphysema or COPD, the days that are really, really full of these, when the air is full of this stuff, it's really bad for them to breathe and that's why they post that. So try this experiment at home on a, on a, on a day when it's not raining and see what the air quality is like at your house.